Well, here we go again. Yet another lawsuit to be filed over the state's new district maps that would draw new lines for voters for the next 10 years. That suit announced at a news conference this morning. Grant Herms listened in on the announcement and joins us now. Uh, Grant, the third suit against these maps. Yes, it is. And this one takes a bit of a different approach, Devin. So this one takes aim at the state house map, the other two at the congressional maps. And while this one may not be as flashy as those congressional maps, it does, as you said, impact our elections for the next 10 years. Uh, we will be filing this lawsuit challenging the state house map on the grounds of partisan fairness. The announcement of yet another lawsuit against the state's independent redistricting commission, this time filed by prominent voting rights groups like the League of Women Voters, Asian American Pacific Islanders Vote, and Detroit Action. The lawsuit set to be filed next week will ask the commission to redraw maps to fix what they see as partisan bias in the newly drawn district maps, concerns they overly favor Republicans, potentially silencing the voices of underserved communities. Partisan fairness must be our top priority. If partisan fairness isn't achieved, our communities will continue to face representatives with outsized influence, policies further out of touch with our needs, and elected officials who are out of touch with our communities. This lawsuit will be the third, claiming there are problems with the state's maps. Last month, Detroit's Black Caucus filed a suit alleging the maps failed to meet federal civil rights standards, something the state's civil rights office agreed with. Then, just last week, seven Republicans from West Michigan sued, alleging the maps don't have equal population sizes. Each of these suits want these maps redrawn, with time running out before the 2022 midterm elections. And there are still debates about these maps among election experts. Civil rights advocates say they don't pass federal muster, but voting or uh, rather uh, voting rights and elections experts say that Michigan should be proud of these maps and consider them success stories for independent commissions. Back to you. Uh, Grant, one of these cases was just heard at the state Supreme Court last week. It, it, yes, it was. That was the first one from Detroit's Black Caucus. Now, the Supreme Court justices didn't seem like they really wanted to take this case up. They were reluctant to touch a federal Voting Rights Act challenge, which means it could get kicked to a federal court, which would prolong this timeline as that clock ticks down yeah. to November. That's Back right. to you. All right. All right, Grant.